Hello, this is my Silvercrest food processor that I bought in Lidl a couple of months ago. The model number is SKM550B1. Now, if you Google food, uh, Silvercrest food processor Lidl, you'll find several models because Lidl has these food processors on offer every now and then. This is the latest one, autumn 2016. So, what I want to do this evening uh, with the food processor is to use the blades and the shredding unit. I need to grate some parmesan cheese and I need to cut some uh, carrot and uh, celery. So I want to try the different blades that come with the, the food processor. Okay, so I removed the cheese. I put back the, the part of the shredding unit. Now this is the, the shredder blade. It's got two sides. This is the fine shredder, it says here, and quartz shredder. So I'll start with the, the quartz to see how my carrots will come out. This is because sometimes I get different results really with different vegetables. So for example, I suppose the, car the carrot comes out um, in a way, but the onions are probably more mushy because they are softer and more wet so I'll just go with the carrots to the demonstration as well. So oops. I'm going to use this. There are pieces coming down, they're nice. I can make a salad with this. Put it on to pee. So instead of just stopping the, the food processor, I put it on to pee and I want to, I have some carrot left but I don't want to shred it all with the quartz part. I just reverse the blade now. There are some bits carrots inside but we remove them later when we clean it. So this is now the fine shredder. Um, Okay, made it. Um, I just want to actually remove the quartz shredded carrots because I want to separate the quartz from the from the fine shredded carrots. Okay, so I one more left and put it in place. Put this back on top. So again the triangle on, line with the dot and then I so, work in. Let me see. Oh, I made it. Now I'll um I'll use this carrot with the fine shredder. Um so I'll just actually I didn't pay attention to the positions I used it. It cuts even a low low speed position three now. Shredding fine. Actually I want to use the last piece as well. the P position. So there are some bits left that didn't get shredded. Okay, that's supposed that's to be expected. Um, I just want to show you the result of the fine shredder. This is what they look like. Nice and fine. And as I said, I want to put it in this other bowl. Now, want to try and use the slicer. I don't know. Um, the slicer would be better for potatoes and um, courgettes for example. Like um, last night I cut courgettes. I can show you. This is what they look like when they're cut. But I finished the courgette so I decided to try and slice the carrots just to see what they'll, they come out like. Okay, 
Okay, so we change blade again. Now, probably if we were to change it vegetables, you might want to to wash this or, or rinse it. Uh, for me, it's no difference because I'm using the same type of vegetables, the carrots. I just get rid of some of this, but they do get stuck. I think I understood in all food processes that they get stuck, so I'll have to get used to that. And now we're using the, say, the quartz, oops, quartz slicer. Um, slicer, yes, cutter slicer, it's the same. And I'm going to use this carrot um, to see how it cuts, when it cuts the quartz. Okay, let me see. I should just rotate this. So these are supposed to be coarse. These they look thin to me, but they are long slices because when the carrot goes down it tends to go sideways. So but if they're too long you can always put it back in and I cut them uh, a second time, do a second round of cutting. So I have to retrieve my carrot. I don't have much left, but I want to use the, the fine slicer now. Um, there's a big slice left there. If another one got stuck. There. Okay. This is the fine slicer. Okay. And locked. And I only have this bit of carrot but I mix them with the other pieces that I have. Let's see if what the slices are actually I need to remove these slices otherwise I won't be able to see the difference. Put them pieces here just to have an idea of the of the size that I get when I when I slice so I'll start again let me see if I have enough carrots to to tell the difference well yeah they are actually different yeah these are thinner these are no, that's thin. So let's see if it. I suppose it does make sense to to cut the celery. What I need to do with the celery actually is to to shred it. And as I said, you often happen to have pieces of vegetables mixed here. I'll clean a little bit. But the thing is that it depends what you need to do. If you need to do a mixed salad, it probably won't make much difference. If you want them all the same size, maybe you use the, the fine shredder, like in, in this case, and then with the spits, you, you you just use them for, for something else, like a, I would use them for a pasta sauce. So, I'm going to, I don't mind if the, the celery is mixed with the, with the carrots, if the blade is still dirty, because I'm going to use the celery with the carrots anyway, for my bolognese sauce. So, but as I said, you might need to, to rinse it before you, you, you change, oops, sorry, <laughs> around, before you change the, the type of, of food or vegetable. So I'll go this way, uh, maybe, no, I'll use the hole and I go. Not a good idea. Okay. See, this is what I said. That's what happens with the softer vegetables. Not a good idea to do a thin uh, 
fine shredding. I need a coarse shredder for the celery, so make a note of that. I'll try again now, let's see. Okay, just to show you the result, this is the shredded celery. It's good enough for my bolognese sauce and so I'm going to mix the carrots and then I'll also do some onions and I can start with my sauce. So um, I need to, to clean a bit of the fruit processor but that's basically it. Um, I recommend that you wash in the dishwasher everything immediately because the white parts get stained with, with, the, with the carrots uh, very easily so if you want to keep it nice and clean I just recommend that you put it in the in the washer but that's that's all so I just put together the shredding unit again and thanks for watching my video